Hello friends, this is Captain Fox with the fishing hooky. And we're going to give you another adventure today. Put some knowledge down. You know we like it. You know how we do. Trying to keep it real. For sure. Alright. Hang in there with us. Peace. My adult offshore life jacket, flare gun with two handheld flares, hook remover, first aid kit. Yes, the Coast Guard has issued new rules starting April the 20th, year 2022, about safety equipment. You must have a throw device. You see my spotlight for night. In the background, you see my offshore life preserver. Also, you need um, fire extinguishers. I always say you need a good hell, uh, handheld compass as well. Although there's one on the boat, on the dashboard, but you need a handheld just in case. You need first aid uh, equipment, first aid packages. Well, you see here over the years, I have accumulated quite a few different types. <laughs> Galls. All this will come in handy if you really need it. Hopefully, we won't ever need it. Well, I did have to use the hook remover one time. Yes, I really did. It went through my thumb all the way through. But we got it out. Uh, first aid guide. Oldie but goodie. You know, tell you how to administer first aid. I found these things helpful. And like I say, you, you need first aid equipment. Just in case. You might cut yourself. You might scratch yourself real deep, fall down, scrape yourself, get a fishing hook in you, different things like that. And the Coast Guard ain't playing. They want a fire extinguisher not to be over 12 years old on your boat. And it got to be a marine type fire extinguisher. So now you know. You got to be Coast Guard approved. The flares shouldn't be out of date. Expiration date on your flares. Also, uh, the the 12 gauge bullets you use in the flare gun shouldn't be expired as well. A good pair of binoculars will help too. It's a good safety feature. Some people overlook. Uh, you see here, I have two fire extinguishers. That's easily to get to right in. In just inside the cutty cabin door. Um, again, the flare gun, you see a picture of that. You also see my binoculars. They come in handy. Definitely. Uh, another thing I found helpful, and I have used it before in the case of emergency, is a, a bilge plug. And this one has a rubber adapter. When you squeeze it down, it gets fatter and it plugs up the hole. And you can use that from the inside of the boat if you forget to use the plug on the outside. That brass plug you see there, you can re get down to the plug in the bills and push that in. And that will stop the water from coming in. Also, a good whistle on each life preserver to me is a must. It's a very good safety feature. A good loud whistle. 
and the people on your boat teach them how to use it. There's your uh, VHF radio I have. That's a very important safety feature. Uh, we have used that several times over the years. Uh, Coast Guard has come and got me twice I know of. Like I don't remember right. <laughs> yeah, and I appreciate it. And I love them to death for, for coming to get me. Um, fortunately, we weren't too far out. And they came within minutes. They were there and pulled me back into dock. And that was a great day for me. Yup. Had engine trouble. Not on this boat I got now, but uh, the boat I had previously had a vapor lock. Thanks for Thanks watching. For watching. Subscribe. Subscription. We appreciate it. No All problem. Right. See you Come next back time. And see me now. Peace.